Hi there everybody, Sarah Harris here and thanks for joining me today. Today I wanted to talk to you about a different kind of strength and that is the strength of becoming more vulnerable. So it does seem like a contradiction of terms and um, in a way it kind of is, but it's um, actually what I would consider and what I've learned through Brene Brown, um, who's um, a shame researcher, is that vulnerability can actually make us um, stronger and help us connect better in our, um, with ourselves, but also with everybody around us. So I just wanted to talk a little bit about that. I have left her video, The Power of Vulnerability, in the notes on this uh, uh, vlog. So please check it out, it's about 20 minutes, fantastic. Um, I listen to it probably a couple times a year because it's so powerful for me. So when we're talking about vulnerability, we're talking about getting in touch with how we are really feeling right now. The reason why I'm concerned about this is because many of us um, go towards unhealthy habits at this time because of the uncertainty that we might be feeling. So what do we do? We either overeat, we overdrink, we partake in drugs, we um, you know, get lost on social media, we kind of numb ourselves out to actually what we're really feeling inside. So what happens when we do that is we actually don't dissipate and process the stress that we're feeling. So what happens is we actually can compromise our immunity. We can feel the stress in our musculoskeletal tissue, which is actually the reason why I'm doing this video is because over the last few days, I've noticed my body is not operating as well as it, as it usually does. And that's an indication to me that I'm actually not feeling um, what I'm actually, um, the stress that I am feeling. The other thing that can happen too, which I've also noticed is my digestion's off. So all this can have, all this stress and uncertainty is having an effect on us. And if we don't dissipate it well, then we don't kind of process it and get through it. So here are some of the ways that I would suggest that we start to tap into that vulnerability. But first and foremost, what I would suggest is get healthy, eat well, uh, sleep well, start moving, do whatever you can to maintain the basic needs of your health. The other thing I would suggest doing is talk therapy. So actually sitting down with the people that we love and trust, not people that are going to shame us or make us feel guilty for feeling the way we feel, but choosing someone in our life that we can have a conversation with. And for any of you out there that are my clients or my friends, please, I hope that I can be that person for you. But to really talk about and be honest with another person about what we're feeling, that kind of leads us into um, what we're feeling, which is what we want to do. The other thing is, if you don't want to talk to someone, maybe just journaling it. Um, I would also suggest that maybe just lying on the floor, just sitting down, taking some deep breaths and actually feeling the body sensations that we're feeling over this time. Because our bodies never lie. When I start to feel like I'm getting tight in my body, I know I got to turn inwards and start talking about it or start just feeling it. And it's okay because these feelings will pass, but if we just um, hunker down and trap those things in our body, it's not healthy. So, like I said, eat well. Um, start talking, start getting in touch with our feelings. Maybe listen to Brene Brown. It's a fantastic TED Talk called The Power of Vulnerability. I wish you well, and at the very least, you can just dance. You take my breath away. Whoa.